Landscape photography for me, it's uh, it's a it's about being expressive um, and connecting with the with the outdoors. I love the outdoors. I like being outside, but it's more it's the passion of feeling the elements, connecting with the elements. It's the sounds, uh, using all of the senses. It's not just a visual thing. It's a cerebral thing when you you have uh, the sound of the uh, the sound of the wind, the water, wherever you're going. Um, a stormy day, you know, a stormy day for me is fantastic. I absolutely, I absolutely adore it. It gives me a sense of uh, of being at one with nature, and with uh, and connecting with it. It's uh, something that you have to have to really enjoy. You have to be out there. Uh, and photography allows me to capture that that mood, the, the essence of the landscape and express it in a way that means something to me. The reason I like this shot is because there's a big peninsula sticking out into the sea. <laughs> oh, here's a big one. Yes. So, but because the tide's going out, it's now revealed some fantastic rocks. It's a really, really clear night and the Milky Way is surprisingly bright tonight. It's very, very clear. The soft grad, which goes from soft, soft in the middle to dark at the top. A reverse grad goes dark in the middle and then fades towards the top. And it's great for sunset, so it, it will control the brilliance of the sun on the horizon. Just a little bit of the sun in the corner of the frame, no? So that should work quite well. Let's try. Yep, a little hint of sunshine in the corner. Any small movement and it will come right through into the shot. So you've got to be really, really careful and make sure you don't move. The worst thing you can do is pack your gear and go home. Because you can guarantee something unexpected is going to happen.